Hello, John Zimmerman from tabletclass.com, and uh, I'm just going to continue to help you out with solving equations for those of you who might find yourself, luckily, in a pre-algebra algebra or algebra 2 or college algebra, some um, class you have the privilege to solve problems like this. Um, for some of you, you might think it's uh, torture, but um, others, of you, others of you might really love this kind of stuff. But nevertheless, um, I'm trying to help you out. We're going to solve this uh, particular equation. So remember when you're solving equations the whole idea is to get the variable by itself on one, one side of the equation. Um, more often than not it's the left hand side but that's neither here or there. So notice right here we have an expression with some parentheses. Okay, that's a big flag to do like the distributive property. Okay, So we have to start simplifying this equation and rewriting it in a simpler and simpler and simpler manner until we get x equals a number. Okay, so that's the objective. So the first thing is to do this distributive property, and hopefully you know what that is. Okay, I'm gonna have to go four times x. All right, I'm gonna distribute. That means like pass out, right? I'm gonna pass out that four to the x and to that negative two. So this is the way it goes: four x minus four times two, or negative two. All right, so I get a negative eight. All right, so that's going to be plus 6x equals 14. All right, so the next thing you want to do is look for like terms. Okay, you want to start kind of pulling everything together. So I can combine this 4x with the 6x, and we'll address that negative 8 here in a second. So let's do that. 4x and 6x, I got 10x minus 8 equals 14. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and do something with this negative 8 here. Okay, I want to get it away from that variable term. I want to get all my numbers to the right hand side of the equation so I'm going to add 8 to both sides of the equation. All right. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to get 10x equals, all right, my math's right here, this should be 22. All right, and now what do I need to do? Okay, well now I just have to solve this little equation. I got 10x equals 22. All right, that equation, mathematically speaking, is equivalent to this equation. All right, they're one of the same. All we've been doing is been taking steps in algebra to simplify. Okay, there's fancy names for these steps. I'm not going to get into that. Just you got to know know the rules. All right, and the last step we want to do is is the one that's going to reveal the solution, i.e. x by itself. So to do that, I just have to divide 10 by both sides of the equation. I get x equals 22 over 10. Now, for those of you who are like, got this problem right, you know, of course, I give you a big A+, plus, 100%. You know, you're going to Harvard. Congratulations. That's awesome. And um, actually, I am sincere. You know, uh, if you're doing these problems, you're following you know the correct steps and by the way you want to model the way I'm working okay because uh, you just certainly just don't want to put your answer down your teacher's going to think you're cheating and if you do get the wrong answer with no work you'll, you won't get any partial credit but here you got x equals 22 over 10 the thing about when you have a fraction answer always make sure you've reduced it okay so you don't have to turn it into a mixed number at least I wouldn't suggest you do that but at least reduce it so you can reduce this down to 11 over 5 okay so there you go alright so hopefully this uh, little video helps you out but I want to leave you with some other information that can really help you out our website tabletclass.com we have a 30-day free trial we specialize in clear and understandable mathematics for uh, real life uh, middle high school students uh, and those you go back to school and uh, the reason why our product's so good is because we explain things in a way that actually connects with real life students okay not all of us are a plus students or wizards in math so we need someone to kind of explain to us and that's a little bit different than teaching okay explain in a way that you can you know connect and um, i think you guys will really be impressed with our product but come on come on by sign up for a 30-day free trial and by the way um if you can We'd love your comments and feedback on this video. Good luck to yourself.